Oh my gosh! Wow! That was great! <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome to Brody's channel, but I'm taking over this video today. Uh, I had my first tournament last weekend, and if you've watched those videos, they'll be like right here or something. Um, I only throw a forehand because my backhand is trash and non-existent. <laughs> so, Brody filmed with Paige earlier today, and she's so kind to teach me properly how to throw a backhand because I don't like to listen to my husband. So, maybe I'll get a few points and tips and tricks to throw a proper backhand since she's like a powerhouse. So Yeah, I'm excited to help you out. I um, saw that you got you lost by one stroke so hopefully if we bring this backhand in we'll I get know. A win soon. so what is like the most important part you would say in throwing a backhand yeah well i think when throwing an ultimate disc the disc goes up a lot because there's a lot of glide and discs don't have as much glide so mm -hmm. you want to throw them with a little bit more power and more spin okay so the first thing and the most important thing i think is timing and matching your lower body with your upper body so Obviously when you're throwing you're using your arm, mm -hmm. but your legs do play a big role So trying to match the amount of power in your legs in your upper body is okay. going to be really important Okay, I'm going to show you my backhand. I'm going with a roach um, Just because of how I throw so I'm just gonna throw and <laughs> I'm nervous That's She's okay. watching me. <laughs> well, yeah, she's trying to help you. I'm more nervous than right now than I was in the tournament <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here we go Reach back. So see how it kind of goes up yeah. and it just kind of yeah. floats down. So that's on every backhand I throw. I think the first thing I like to talk about like a good thing and a bad thing so that it's okay. like there's positive enforcement and you can know perfect. like what you are doing correct. I'm not used to that, so perfect. <laughs> yeah, so I think your reach back is really good. You take a nice long reach back. Um, before we get too far, I do want to tell you though, uh, there is such a thing as too far of a reach back. Okay. So like, at, if our target's that way, your reach back's obviously behind you. Yeah. If at any point your shoulders are more than parallel, it's bad. So like this, you're yeah. reaching back Overreach. too far. Okay. And you have a good reach back where it's not too far, but it's about as far as you can get. Okay. Um, the one thing that I did notice like right away and why it's going up like that is because you're not really focusing on your follow through a lot. Okay. So like as soon as you let the disc go, you're already thinking about where is it? And okay. you're not fully finished with your shot yet. So okay. when you finish, when you finish throwing, you want to make sure your left arm for right-handed players, okay. you want to, the shot's not done until your left arm swings through. So after you let it go, you kind of just stopped right here and started looking but you should finish the momentum and have your left arm come through. And that'll kind of make it go more linear and also have more speed. Okay, so. Maybe don't point your toes. I know. <laughs> I'm like dancer mode. I'm like trying to like stay, stay lifted. Okay, so do you, yeah, cause I was like, that's a thing like that I need to kind of come out of. Like I'm used to always like lifting from like my little cereal bowl uh -huh. here. Do I need to like come over more? Or? It does help just to be like more compact and gives you more power and like engaging your core okay. if you are bent over a little bit. Um, but that also is gonna kind of like make different angles on the disc happen. So like when you're bent over, the disc kind of g drops down on the left side. So that's gonna create like a hyzer. Okay. And when you're dipped back, it's gonna do the opposite. Okay. So it's gonna kind of create an anhyzer. So for now, anyway, just try to try to do like as as uh, straight as you can. Okay. It's it's good to like kind of crunch over and get into an athletic position, okay. but try to not to worry about your torso too much. Okay. Okay. We're gonna give it. A, we're gonna give it another shot. Yes. Oh my gosh. Wow. That was great. <laughs> Great. One, lesson, one lesson from Paige Pierce. One lesson. There you go. Okay, okay so now something th that's kind of like a basic thing and you can just keep going with yeah. that as you're working at home. But one thing that's like a little bit more advanced that I want to talk to you about. So okay. grab that in your hand. Okay. Um so when you're I'm gonna just opposite you just okay. so you can I'll look mirror at me. you. Yeah. yeah. So when you're reaching back your body weight is on the back part of your uh so when you're throwing with your right hand and you're reaching back all of your body weight or 90 percent of your body weight should be on your back leg okay so right now most of her body weight is going to be back here 
Now, she obviously has to transfer it to here to let the disc go. So when you have your reach back back here, weight's back there. As okay. you pull through, that's when you're shifting into the weight on that leg. Okay. Um, but a lot of times people start to round their hips. We don't want to do that. Okay. So the things that I think about daily, like even when I'm in the grocery store or like anywhere where I can't like go practice, I'm still thinking about my timing. Okay. And this is gonna where your power and your explosiveness is gonna come okay. from. So when you do that transfer, think about your elbow hitting this as hard as you can. Like someone Ooh. just broke into your house and you're okay. trying to protect your dog. Okay. <laughs> so just elbow right here, okay. really hard. That's okay. like your power point. Okay, elbow. Yes. And you can just work on that once, okay. however long. Okay. But then once you get that, you want the timing part where I'm talking about your upper body with your lower body. Also, when that hits, you should also be hitting here with your hips oh. at the same time. Whoosh. Yep. Okay. And try okay. to make that at the same time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But two things because this is like, it's a complex, <laughs> complex thing, but um, I was saying like, people kind of round it yeah so that will help you to enforce the out instead of rounding okay because you do the, the shot is like a two-part thing it's the throw and then the follow-through okay so in that follow-through that's when your hips round but not until then not until you yeah actually... so it should go they should go forward boom and then round up and then round after okay. you've let it go okay but not until then okay so hit and then around yep but obviously not jerky yes yeah so Solid, it's like a two-part thing the reach yeah. back and the pull through but you want it to become like a fluid motion okay so but like when you're thinking of it and when you're learning it it is a two-part thing but then you kind of want to blend them together so it's like seamless okay we're gonna give it a shot don't judge me it's gonna come out with more power than you've been used to okay so don't don't be shy <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and that you, you are going to turn them over because it's just coming out a lot harder. Okay. So then you just need to work on your actual releasing Release. of like of your aiming yeah. and releasing and lining your body up to your target. Okay. I'm gonna try one more. Yeah. Which one is Try this meteor. Okay. okay. I'm aiming and like, that way. So not that pick, way. Pick an exact yeah. Location. Okay, like, aiming for that yellow thing okay. right there. So right now, before you throw it, uh -huh. think about your elbow and your hip hitting it. Okay. And do your little pre-routine. Okay. And really, really focus on that. All right. Yeah. So a little high, and that's the that's the last thing about the hip the hip weight transfer thing. So when you are Focusing on the hip, yeah. a lot of times you're like really trying to emphasize it so and you kind of come it. up. Okay. So just think about it. So like when I stand by a basket, we're about the same height, right? Yeah. When I stand by a basket, my hip's like right at the cage. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, if I'm on a tee pad, I'm like envisioning hip. my hip hitting the cage of the basket. Huh. Because if I'm thinking any higher, it's kind of coming up or I'm like really, really, like if it's like a shot that's too far for me and I'm mm -hmm. really trying to get it there, Sometimes I accidentally like overemphasize it and I come up. So just make sure it's coming out and not okay. up. Okay. Out. I'm I'm a dancer, so releve, like up on my toes okay. is what I know. Okay. So that's kind of hard to say. Don't do that. Okay. I'm gonna aim for that yellow thing again. Okay. And I'm gonna really focus on not pulling my hip up. Yes. And not leaning back. So yeah. Head. So crouch down a little bit and just come across okay. your body with it. Okay. Yeah, nice. You got a lot of spin on your wrist too. Really good. And these are putters. These are putters that she's throwing so they all kind of want to go to the right, but it's much better than a beginner throwing a driver because, try it, just oh for them to see what happens. <laughs> oh boy. That's a driver. 
And that's why if you're a beginner, don't grab a disc that is over speed seven even. Just grab something that's glidey and slow and it'll help you to see which what you're doing with your body and how to correct it easier. All right, cool. Well, thank you yeah. so much. I'm gonna definitely really think about everything that you've pointed out. That was awesome. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate it. No problem. Good luck. All right, with the guys. Next one. So don't forget to subscribe, like, click the bell for post notifications, and we'll see you in the next one. Make sure you subscribe to Paige's channel too. Yes. She's coming back with you. Not to put pressure on her, but she said she's gonna make more YouTube videos. I am. So go <laughs> subscribe to Paige's. It'll be in the description down below. Keep slinging them dicks! <laughs> <laughs>